All right. All right. So we are live again. We're live again. Okay, let's let's do this. Uh, do you want to do the intro this time? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'll do the next intro. All right, fine. Well, uh, welcome everybody. We're live again. This is Protect the Tech number two. This is our second podcast. It should be very interesting. Um, you know, hopefully you have heard our first one. If not, there's always links down there to go ahead and go to the first one. Um, interesting bit of news. Our podcast, actual podcast, is live on iTunes. You can go ahead and check it out. At, um, just type in there, Protect the Tech. It should come out right away. It should be able to, you should be able to listen it or download it up to you. Um, you the video is also featured on our website, opinionmia.com. It's going to be there under a blog post. And we also have a new blog, the Razor Backpack. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. And here we go, Ango. Um, go ahead and take it up, take it away from here. All right, uh, we are again. <laughs> we are uh, Ango Furious, aka uh, aka Ango, and uh, with our host Contron, aka Con. He didn't introduce us. Uh, so there's no need. There's no need. Everybody knows us by now. Oh, it's yeah. only the second show. Come totally on. nobody. I mean, <laughs> even even if we had like seven shows, that you know, it'd be nice. All right, so the first uh, first thing on the list is the uh, the new R R nine Fury X two. That's uh, finally has specs. Uh, finally has uh, you know some 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 neat little tidbits that uh, I mean I, I read through the article you know on uh, on what was it uh, WCC F Tech yeah, yeah WCC F Tech uh, and I mean. And layman's like you know the most basic of basic. What I, of my understanding is, it's basically you're getting two GPUs for the price of one. <laughs> I wouldn't say for the price of one, okay, but you're going to yeah, get yeah, two yeah. GPUs in one card. Yeah, basically, uh, I have cool. two GPUs for the casing of one. <laughs> <laughs> we can put it that way. Yes, you are going to get two GPUs in one casing, which is. I mean, they had the world's record, the world record for fastest GPU with the, I believe it was the R9 295X2, which okay. was also a dual GPU card. It was, um, it was pretty fast. It beat almost everything that Nvidia had, but it was also very power hungry. Um, hopefully, with this new new Fury X2, that's what they're they're naming it, but not AMD. It's like what we think it's gonna be named. Well, right I mean, the, the code name is Gemini because it's using correct. the two GPUs, but uh, nothing set in stone, obviously. Exactly, and they're going to be based on the Fiji architecture, the new Fiji um, GPUs, and those are in the R9 Fury and the R9 Fury Nano and the 390X, I believe. Don't quote me on that last one, though. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. No, nah, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to correct you even if I did. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's it's supposed to be pretty pretty darn fast. It's let's see here. I compared to the Titan X and what what are the numbers here? Hold on. Steam processor is gonna have eighty one ninety two compared to the R nine regular Fury, which is forty ninety six. So it obviously double. Uh, GCN compute units the same double one hundred twenty eight compared to sixty four. Uh, the GPU frequency is gonna be up to a thousand megahertz. However. Um, and the AMD Radeon R9 Fury X is up to 1050 megahertz, but we have to remember that a thousand megahertz it's per GPU, so double that yeah. in each GPU, so that's two thousand megahertz. Of course, that and is all, fast. all this technical mumbo jumbo to to a guy like me sounds fancy. <laughs> I mean, I think but, day, it but, is fancy. Oh, well, oh yeah, of, of course. I mean, <laughs> you're looking at the price tag here. If you were to get two, you're gonna be you know, aiming at like thirteen hundred bucks. You know, it's it's not a cheap card, but it's definitely a a good card. Um, but to me, looking at the the very end of the article uh, when they're actually comparing it side by side to the uh, uh, what was it the nine eighty nine eighty Ti? Correct. Yeah. What I saw, at least, what intrigued me was uh, the fact that if you were to crossfire them. You would actually be pushing, like as a, as a pair, it does better than the GTX 980 as a pair. So I thought that right. was pretty interesting. Uh, I think uh, this might be the first time in a long time 
that uh, AMD finally releases a card that can actually like stand up to it, maybe even surpass uh, the the NVIDIA counterpart. The Titan? Yeah. Yeah, the Titan The Titan was obviously NVIDIA's single G, fastest GPU, and uh, rumors are that NVIDIA is working on a dual GPU, kind of like the Titan Z. Mm-hmm. But Didn't the Titan know, Z the, like not do very well, though? <laughs> Well, no, because they were pricing. Okay, they were they were putting. Essentially, this is what happened. They put two seven eighty Ti's, I believe, mm-hmm. inside inside the Titan Z, and instead of pricing it at sixteen hundred bucks or a little bit lower, which is whatever double the the price of the the price of two of SLIing a single yeah, two SL, yeah. Correct. They were pricing it at three thousand dollars or something Oof, man. like that. Yeah, so and that's it's why just people not worth were like, <laughs> correct. People are like, what the fuck? Fuck you! I'm not gonna be paying. You know, more than triple the price for two cards that I could just get on my own and SLI them together. Uh, to be fair, I mean, you know, to be fair, you could technically have four if you were to SLI two of the, the Zs. <laughs> well, true, but you get what I'm saying. I mean, they were they were honestly pushing, they pushed the price way overboard just because they were NVIDIA. Just because they were top, you know, releasing the new thing. Yeah, it's, it, Correct. they do it a lot. Xbox did it when uh, with the Xbox One, trying to... Correct change the game but nobody wanted it so they're like okay fine we'll, we'll we'll go back to the way we were <laughs> exactly and it kind of you know that that's that was a fault of the titan z on top of that if i'm not mistaken it had a lot of problems with its drivers a lot of people complained about it and honestly on a three thousand dollar video card <laughs> no one should be complaining <laughs> no one should no no one should be having any freaking problems correct like you said no one should be complaining no one should be having any problems and really should have gotten their shit straight of course but now, to me, as the budget gamer that I am... Um, oh, just forget this card. Just, diff- like, just don't even think about you're, it. You're not getting this card. Like, to me personally, <laughs> you're not, like, if you're like me and you spent 800 maybe 900 bucks on your, on your build, uh, you know, you're probably not getting this card. At least not this year. Right. <laughs> uh, you, you might actually get it you know, in a, like two, maybe three years down the line when it's used or when it's refurbished or something. But... Uh, what it means to me personally is I have something to look forward to. Uh, on top of that, the fact that uh, you know the, the, the EMA from uh, our last episode, that also means that if, if for whatever chance I had uh, an NVIDIA card, uh, I'd actually have more power by throwing this one on there, you know, because oh, yeah. of all that deal. And, you know, talking about the EMA uh, from last week, the article did say that AMD, uh, AMD's cards were actually better at leading than NVIDIA's were. So right. if you have a high-end AMD card, you can actually lead with it and have better, you know, you don't have to spend as much, which is great. Right. <clears throat> which hopefully it, it happens. And, you know, with this, like I said, this, this dual GPU card is going to be the latest and greatest and the fastest card available from AMD, maybe even beat NVIDIA. But, well, um, I mean, the numbers are saying that if you crossfire them, they will, which immediately means, hey, fucking, you know, I'm, I'm going with that then. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Let, let, let me not say, yeah, but, no, no, no buts. You're right. It's it's just the best card that's going to be out there. Um, At least we for have the next few see, months. Correct, until NVIDIA... We'll see if NVIDIA releases another Frankenstein Titan, but... We'll, we'll have to wait on that. Hey, speaking of Frankenstein, would you consider buying this card? Uh, that's a tough question. Because I mean, I consider buying that card. You technically can uh, Frankenstein your thing. I mean, I, I, Frankenstein. Frankenstein seems like a lame term. I'm gonna call it Chimera ing. <laughs> okay. I mean, I would still have to wait for DirectX 12 because I, I have a 970 in my in my my gaming PC right now, which is the same PC I use for everything. I have a 970 in it. I was actually considering buying another 970 to SLI them. So it could give me a more boost in my FPS, because I do have a G-Sync monitor. So I'm kind of tied down to um, to the NVIDIA... What you call it? G-Sync? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of tied down to NVIDIA because of G-Sync, but um, well, honestly, I could... I If... If AMD blows my mind with the next card, if it's not that hot, if that's not too hot, then yeah, I would buy it particularly in that card. But then you would, have the your, you would have your your uh, your GTX lead, right? So that you could still take advantage of the G-Sync? 
Correct. Or do you know if that's going to be a thing if you were to multi... Uh, I, I, I think it's still in the rumor mills. I mean, um, what was it? Dying, no, what was, it, what was the game? Oh my god, I forgot. Ashes of Singularity. Ashes of Singularity. It's still in alpha. Um, who knows what Direct X is really going to bring out. We're still a couple of months away, if not many months away well i mean hopefully it's before june because i'm i'm personally gonna wait till the last month to upgrade to windows 10 <laughs> Dude, yeah. oh, hey some people do that i upgraded right away it's been pretty good the security issues have not bothered me i just went to advanced um read the fine print and everything and you know make sure i would cross my t's and dot my eyes on it and it's been running just fine so far um so for me it looks good for you We'll see, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Correct. And um, as far as your question, though, would I buy that card if I had the money? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I probably would, too, if I had the money, but then again, who wouldn't, right? That's a pretty, exactly. it's a pretty big deal. It, it's a cool card. It's a lot of dragon rights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, next. We're moving right along here. Yeah, oh, when you look for Catalyst, did you... you I, I did. I looked at that. I look, I briefly looked at that, and then I remembered, oh, wait, I actually don't even use my personal Catalyst... Uh, <laughs> Catalyst Control Center, like it's just there to download the necessary drivers whenever I need them. I don't ever mess with it. Right. I mean, this oh. might change my mind, but uh, it looks pretty. It does. The, the little brushed, uh, brushed steel paint job that it that it's going to be sporting. Oh yeah. Simplified menus, which is obviously great for the people who don't want to just deal with it. I guess. You know, you, you right. just go the in. Something's better. Yeah, especially when it comes to this, you're already spending enough time either modding or just overall playing the hell out of your games. You don't want to mess around and play this mini game. It's probably not as fun. Correct. And if you guys are hearing that, there's a train. I do live by the train station, and you might hear some noise. Sorry about that, but I can't do anything about it. I can hear it. <laughs> also, my, my dog is here. My name is Robin. Let me, let me see if I can put him for him. Uh, there's, there's Robin. There's Robin. Oh, she makes a little bit of noise, but anyway. Um, I'd bring my yeah. dog in here, but he might kill a cat. Yeah, that, that dog is dangerous. It bit me in the butt. That was pretty funny, though. It was. <laughs> um, Catalyst, right. Catalyst. You can use it. I When I used to have my MD card, I never used it either, only to set up monitors or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't um, even use it for that. I just used your the basic uh, properties or personalization tool that that windows comes with to set up the two monitors correct but it's it's like our in the articles by ars technica and it's like they point out it's essentially a an answer to nvidia's geforce experience correct uh, which again had i it. never use it either <laughs> right I, i've actually used it quite often and it works pretty well it might just be a um, me problem then <laughs> it, it could be plus not not to mention um geforce experience also gives you shadow play it gives you um, the ability to stream t if you had like an NVIDIA Shield device of course. Um, through your living room. So it packed a lot of things when AMD had with its Catalyst was pretty bare bones. It didn't have much to do. Yeah, I don't know about um, that Catalyst, man. <laughs> yeah, I, it was I, pretty much nothing. I, I could still open it up and I'll look at it and I'll be like, yep, all right, I'll go ahead and close that now. <laughs> <laughs> right, and this is kind of their answer to it. Hopefully it does a better job at what Catalyst did. Um, I personally, since I love tinkering a lot with my things, I, I really would. If I was an AMD user, I, I, just, I wouldn't care much for it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's got to wow me first. Like, I mean, okay, it looks cool, so maybe I'll give it some time. But uh, if I if I'm not like immediately going like, oh hey, you know what? I can actually, this is actually gonna make a difference. Hmm. I'm probably just never gonna open it again either. Correct, <laughs> and and uh, I think a lot of our our audiences pretty much got to the same thing. It's like, oh, okay, it's probably. cool. If it doesn't really help that much, then I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, probably all like three of them or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's more than three, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that means our audience is growing from two. Slowly but surely. Uh, all right. All right. So you brought up the next article for Nintendo, so go ahead and take it away, sir. Well, thank you for spoiling it. It is an article about Nintendo, and uh, <laughs> okay. So basically, Nintendo decided to take the first step into mobile gaming, which I was excited when I heard the news. You know, obviously everybody keeps a mobile phone on them, but uh, when uh, the next announcement came out that they were delaying it till I believe March of next year, if I'm not mm. mistaken, 
uh, they actually had, you know, they actually went ahead and gave a little bit more information as to what it was going to be. <clears throat> Here's me expecting, you know what, maybe they're going to release like a mobile virtual arcade where you can play your classic NES games in your handheld glory, right? Uh, right, which is what I think everybody wished they could do. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody legitimately wanted. You know, they wanted to play their, their Legend of Zelda. The, they wanted to play their Mario, their Donkey Kong, whatever. Instead, they announced it was called uh, Mitomo, which basically is me friends. Which, <laughs> I, I, I looked at it, I'm like, okay... Uh, that, I mean, it's fine. You got, you can make your little avatar and you can play like little mini games supposedly, but it's not exactly what I wanted. And the fact that they're selling it as a type of social media game thing, like a social media like app, basically, right. uh, I don't think it's going to blow many people's minds. <laughs> it's not, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, the PlayStation. They had this thing called playstation live playstation oh, i forgot what it was but essentially it was you entered a world you created your own little avatar and you kind of interact around your world and you could interact with other people it was pointless i, I remember so many people i talked to other ps3 owners so i was like well, what the heck is this <laughs> it's trash they're like oh it's just something like oh do you even know like no it's kind of boring well nobody nobody really uses it so i, I would say 95 percent of people just ignored it and it was empty space taking up your your valuable PS3 memory. Your valuable, yeah, that's true. That's really but yeah, and same thing looks like this is gonna be. Uh, no, y- yes and no. One, it's they're selling it as a uh, as a social media game, obviously. Which anything that's coming out as social media, anything is is gonna have a hard time just because it's like, yo, I'm sorry, you want to go against Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook? Yeah, good luck. Right. You know, yeah. like uh, that's not gonna be easy. Especially since Facebook already has its own like casual gaming side of it anyway. Um, right. But to be fair, Nintendo isn't that dumb. Sure, they kind of dropped the ball with the Wii U, but prior to the Wii U, the Wii had the most sells, uh, has been the most selling console out there, you know. So if they're bringing out the Mii's and they can reproduce what the Wii was like you know bringing to the living room in the mobile aspect then maybe they can still do it because they're all about fun right they don't care about graphics because i mean they're using me's as avatars and they're not very right they're me's <laughs> but um again they were able to you know like wii sports which i think about wii sports i'm like oh that's that's not that great of a game but then you think about I, it and it's like okay if you're at your friend's house and like three other people show up and somebody decides to, Hey dude, you guys want to just play some games? Like, well, not really. You just want to watch a movie. How about we get drunk and then play some more games? And then that immediately becomes the best night of like the week. You know, it's, <laughs> it's crazy how fun it could be even for the, you know, for adults. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I thought, I thought Wii sports is kind of like bringing a board game, but into the video game scene where you had more interactions with it instead of just sitting down and playing Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the way I saw. Well, it. it's, it's like a, a party game, game, you know. It's it's a right. it's a party game, and it, like Mario Party, oh, like Mario thirty-seven, party. whatever we're at right now. <laughs> um, like all these party games are gonna be fun, you know, because a lot of the other consoles which don't have the uh, the multiplayer aspect that they used to. You know, you don't have the split screen on most games. They already announced that Halo 5 isn't even going to have a split screen campaign, which people are like, what? Why not? But, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, you know, like, having party games is still, like, necessary. So I think that's where the Wii and the Wii U, you know, that that's the demographic that they fill. Uh, but when you swap that to mobile, you know, I mean, sure, you have it at hand. You could technically, you know, right. do it with all your other friends and whatnot. It's still not going to be the same thing because you're no longer like in your living room having fun with the game. True. Um, the other thing that they were saying is it's going to be like uh, it's going to be for people who would not ne- like it's going to give you a questionnaire, and people are going to be able to see this uh, because you're technically giving away the information. Uh, and it's for the shire of gamers, I guess, because they said that it's going to be. Uh, they're going to ask you questions that you would normally not tell anyone unless it was asked. So maybe you're not going to be the guy that's going to immediately tell people 
what your fantasies are in something, but if they ask you, well, you, hey, you know what, it's this, and that's basically what they're doing. Um, so, again, maybe it's going to be hit or miss. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. We'll have to see. I might give it a shot. And it really is. Like, if it comes out free, obviously it's going to pick up a market. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but, but then uh, again, it's going to be one of those free-to-play games that you have to buy some other yeah, thing. Yeah, just, but... I, I'm personally tired of those games. I don't know about well, you. Well, I am, but that's honestly the future of gaming right now, especially in any multiplayer online uh, market. There's always going to be a cash shop. Get used to it. It's going to happen. It happens in WoW now, too. You know, like you don't technically even have to spend money. If somebody else wants to spend it and sell it to you, fine. 30,000, right. 40,000 gold, however much it costs right now. Um, and, like, uh, you know, MOBAs see it all the time, too. It's, that, it's just skins. But you know what? That's how yeah. they're making their money. You know, that's how they keep producing content. Mobile gamings, they just have it. They're the ones that are more direct about it. They're like, oh, hey, uh, you want to have more fun? Pay a little bit of cash, and it'll be easier to do. And that's you want more Smurf berries? Hey, we'll sell you a pack of Smurf berries. <laughs> uh, like I don't know, man. Like I, with this whole, with this whole uh, <clears throat> Mitomo thing. Like the first thing I was thinking about was Pokemon Go, and it's like, oh well, I thought Pokemon Go was going to be the first thing, but I guess that's kind of Game Freak. But right. uh, it's probably going to be the same thing. You're probably going to have to pay for for like better Pokeballs or something. Although to be yeah. fair. Uh, Game Freak was pretty good when they released their uh, uh, Pokemon Shuffle, I think was a mobile game, where it's basically like, uh, it's technically another version of uh, your standard tile swapping game and whatnot. So just the same old, same old, but with a Pokemon brand on it. Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah, like every Pokemon would have a different effect, and you would have to like min-max your party to beat the particular one you're going against, and you yeah. could spend more. You can actually spend money to get balls, better Pokeballs to, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> to, to, to catch the particular Pokemon you may need or whatever. But uh, they 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 were good about it because, you know, like every other game, you have X amount of lives and they refresh or X amount of Y and it refreshes every day right. or every 30, 40 minutes, whatever the hell they have it at. And uh, like, I never felt forced to spend any money ever. Like, okay. at all. <laughs> so, th if they go with that, then maybe it'll be fine. But we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we'll see. Next year when they actually give us another announcement about it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see. We'll see what Nintendo does there. I mean, again, but, they're not dumb, and they're they correct. got enough money to fail a few more times. I'm pretty sure they could completely just not sell a, fail again. No, no, like they could legit just not even bring out a, new, a next gen console. Uh, you know, now that the Wii U is like on the way out, they could just be like, what you know what, we're just not gonna bring it out, and pfft, we'll be fine. But there's rumors that they are. Yeah, there is though. There is. What is that next console though? Uh, well, they don't know. I mean, it's codenamed NX, which okay. is very generic. It's basically saying, hey, next, next. That that's what NX is probably meant. <laughs> it's next. Oh, 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 oh clever. Oh. Well, it's just a code name, you know. It's like Gemini. Well, there's two cores. Yeah. Uh, look at me, I'm, I'm so, I'm so what is creative. creative. Yeah. Uh, I bet so. you five bucks there was some poor intern that was locked away in a closet. Yeah, like, hey, come up with a name. <laughs> yeah, well, so the Nintendo NX, uh, there's been leaks. You know, they've uh, started to distribute the software development kits, which is always nice. You know, oh, means... that's great. Then, that means there's some good progress then. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it's just the software development kits. So it, it's just basically a computer that can't, I don't know, it's like a, it's not really that great. <laughs> it's not big news, <laughs> uh, the development kits. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, this is, uh, it says it's, it's going to employ an industry-leading chips. That's just so broad, though. It's like saying... Yeah. This is so broad. Isn't it? It's incredibly broad, uh, but it's like, okay, what are the current industry leading chips, or at least the newest chips coming out? There, there's well, yeah, but the thing is that we're talking about consoles though, mm -hmm. and in consoles it's a little different though because we have we have things like um, ow cat the 
we have things like the the PS3 and the Xbox 360, which are both using AMD GPU APU. Sorry, they're APUs, and they're APUs from the Jaguar architecture, which are, which are honestly like super kind of like old already. Yeah, they have nothing like close to the the PC GPUs that we have. Yeah, PC Master Race. Hey, yeah, Razor. But um, <laughs> but. That, that's why I'm kind of wondering, like, okay, if it's going to employ the industry-leading chips, is it just going to be a GTX, I don't know, an AMD R9 390? I don't know. I mean, we did talk about the uh, the excavator from last, uh, last week, how it's going to be a smaller chip, too. Yeah, but I think that was more towards, like, hospital stuff. Like, nothing that's going to be demanding. Well, I mean, let's be honest. Nintendo never has released, like, an extremely demanding console, either. <laughs> oh, that's true. That is true. Uh, but uh, like, I don't know. Th- there's a few things that Nintendo needs to do uh, before they actually decide to release their next gen console. I'm a hundred percent hoping they drop the Wii name. <laughs> like they, yeah. honestly, like if you look at Sony's history, PlayStation, PlayStation Two, PlayStation right. Three, PlayStation Four. PlayStation Four. Very simple. You look at Xbox's convoluted Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One Xbox system. One. Who knows what the next one will be? Maybe they'll just be like, be hey, Xbox n- two. Xbox 2. <laughs> or Xbox 180. Who knows? <laughs> like just, just turn around and go back. Just yeah, like just go, go go back. You know, whatever you didn't do right, just do it over again. And <laughs> I don't know. They could, they could definitely sell it. <laughs> sell it right. as a, a decent, you know, uh, marketing campaign. Um but definitely, I mean, you look at Nintendo, you got Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Wii, and Nintendo then they go Wii to U. Nintendo Wii U. And I'm just thinking, really? Why would you go with Wii U? Like, you could have done something else, maybe taken it off the Wii brand since it was an experimental console with the big, right. you know... I, I guess the the nunchuck controller was also pretty uh, experimental as well. Yeah, yeah but it, it, I mean the nunchuck controller kind of brought out the whole interactive thing. Right, right. So, so I guess it makes. Cool. So, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, I guess it makes sense that you naming it the Wii U was like, or naming it off the Wii. Right. right. Excuse me. Would have been uh, would have been fine because it's technically still kind of giving you that handheld thing. I don't know. Um. But so, so, so what you're proposing is that Nintendo calls it the Nintendo Super N64 Wii Q. Hell, dude, if they were to just call it the <laughs> Nintendo Ultra, I'd be happy. <laughs> Nintendo I mean, you Ultra. got you got the Super Nintendo, you freaking the Ultra Nintendo. Why not? You know, like I'm down with that. I'd be down. I'd, that'd make me <laughs> smile every time I turn it on. It's like, hey, look at that. That's my uh, that's my Nintendo. That's my that's Super Nintendo. Nintendo. It's my Ultra Nintendo. Ultra Nintendo. That sounds pretty cool. It's moving on to Mega Nintendo and then Hyper <laughs> Nintendo. Just keep going off with that. I mean, I, it could work. I, they probably will never do it because probably reasons, won't. but it would totally work. It would. It would. And uh, shit, I'd be, I'd be down to buy one. I mean, depending on what it brings. Yeah. One of the things that always kept me from buying the Wii. Well, I was always on the verge. A Wii U. I, you know, the whole thing that they have uh, old video games. Um, the virtual like console, Mario. yeah, the virtual console, the Super Mario Legend of the Seven Stars, which is my all-time favorite game. They have the Zeldas. They have, oh my god, all of that almost pushed me towards the edge of buying it. But then, but then I backtracked and I thought, hmm, why am I going to buy a brand new console to play old ass games? Right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Which is why I busted out my wife's old Super Nintendo, and I'm probably just going to buy games for that one. Hey, that's probably. that's fine. I mean. Uh, she kicked my ass in Mario Three, and I was she sure. I was learning how to play. Ass. I was I was learning how to handle it. Hey, to be fair, look, I never had a Super Nintendo. I had a Nintendo and a sixty four. I never had the Super. We were too poor for yeah, that. Somehow we weren't <laughs> we weren't poor enough for us to not have an N sixty four. I'm pretty sure my mom didn't buy it for us. It was probably like some other relative. Right. But we we acquired one at some point. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Uh, it was usually when uh the cube was like being introduced and we're like hey n64 is cheap there you go that's probably what happened but somehow we still managed to get games there you go talk about games yeah sorry i had to i had to mute myself real quick because i had uh, coughed <laughs> uh, 
Oh, so you're getting sick? I'm actually a might be getting sick too. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm still, I'm still getting better from uh, last week when I was uh, not feeling too fly. Oh, so much better. Though. So, but, but, but talking about games? Well, I mean, LOE, LOL. Uh, Who won? League of Legends. Uh, League of Legends. SKT. Look, man, I, we can first. <laughs> All right, fine. First, let's give first, let's give them the first, credit that they need. Okay. Correct. The credit they deserve. First team to actually win two championships. They haven't disbanded, I believe. But they so haven't. That's, all, that's good. Yeah, they haven't. They, they uh, stated that they don't want to. They want to keep as many of their players as possible. Unlike you know last year, where they kind of just lost three dudes, just scattered to the winds. Yeah, and, <laughs> um, and but yeah, they they, they want to keep all their players. Huzzah! Good for them. Uh, they are the first team to win Worlds twice, and it was, was also the first Worlds where it was two same region teams fighting for the championship, which was pretty cool. Correct. Sorry, 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 I keep looking back, which is on my fault. I decided to bust in here at the most inappropriate time, and right now I'm showing sure. Hey, I can't... Look, man, my cat's just been sleeping on my footrest for, like, at least the last... How long is this video? Yeah, yeah last 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes. But it's just that this little jerk right here, if he sees, if he sees a closed door, he just wants to go and open it. <laughs> Even though he already knows what's inside, so he's been blowing the heck out of me. Right. That jingle. Bell. Um, yeah, just like SKT, they they bug me too. Yeah, damn. It's like, come on, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, to to be honest though, like, um, for me at least, uh, just 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 me. As soon as SKT beat Origin three zero, it was like okay. It's SKT's it's winning. Done. SKT's winning yeah. because the it was like okay if if Origin would have been able to say I don't know take one or even two games off of them, I'd have actually said hey you know what Origin was really close and Fnatic, Fnatic right. might actually be able to take this, uh, and then Fnatic lost a I mean Origin lost three zero and I'm like okay Fnatic isn't winning against SKT it might be a decent you know. Uh, finals, but they're not winning against SKT. Right. And then the Tigers went off and beat Fnatic, and I'm like, well, I'm probably not even going to watch the finals <laughs> anymore. It's just... Agreed. I mean, at some point, honestly, the, the thing that I've seen a lot with esports is that once you get into the... Especially League of Legends, maybe not all esports, but League of Legends, once you get into the championship levels, it's clear who's going to win, and it just becomes very boring. It, for me, I need to see more competition towards... Instead of just seeing in the quarterfinals and the groups, I actually want to see a really good final match. It's like yeah, they've all pretty much been blowouts every year yeah. ever since. Ever since like game, I think season, I want to say season two when when esports was where well league esports was starting to grow. I think that was like the most, uh, you know, like crazy one. Right. Right. When Taipei won, but outside of that, at least league has gotten pretty stagnant over the years. It has. With Korea being like the all-time favorite, <clears throat> correct. It's, it's um, always been Korea, Korea or China. Mm -mm. It's always just been Korea. China has had some <laughs> some some good contenders, but not any not any champions yet. Yeah. Um, well, but uh, really yeah, you're that. definitely talking about just League of Legends because in uh, at least in CS:GO, I think that's been like three teams that are always like in top. It's like I think it's like oh, Virtus okay. Pro, TSM, and Cloud9 or something. I, I don't even know if it, no. TSM, Virtus Pro, and Fnatic are like the top three in CS:GO, and they're like always, like <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, but they're they're always like in there. Like those are usually top three. Sometimes there's like the random guy, team that comes in and beats them, but for the most part, it's those three that are always fighting mm -hmm. for the number one spot. And then Heroes of the Storm, it's just between. Well, right now it's not that big of a game, so <clears throat> uh, right now it's just between Temple Storm and Cloud9 for the most part. Got it. Go Temple Storm. <laughs> Go. But the real news people want to hear about League of Legends, the real news is the fact that Poster Boy for CLG double lift. Left. No, he didn't leave. He got dropped. Uh oh. Uh, That's even worse. Immediately is now TSM double lift. And a lot of people, you know, the, there's been a lot of speculation as to what happened. There's the whole 2 a.m call and they're like oh hey it's your uh, double lift you're, you're out peace at two in the morning that's not what happened uh there's been a few more reddit posts there's been a few more uh uh you know in, in depth analysis to all this stuff and i guess it's been told uh for a while that like at least internally they knew that double lift was going to be leaving the team um, right. there's a few uh uh 
like vods if you look at the last game that COG played at Worlds um against uh I want to say what was it um Pain that's what it was called Pain. <laughs> against yeah, Pain. Pain uh you can actually hear Double F saying this is going to be my last game playing with you guys I don't want to lose to Pain Gaming I'm tired of seeing right. BRTT greater than Double Lift hey, I mean at the time nobody nobody knew what the hell that meant <laughs> But uh, after people looked into it after he dropped, they were definitely like, oh, that's what he meant. They had already planned it. Yeah, they did. Right. Um, and COG's manager actually talked to Reggie, which is <clears throat> TSM's owner and manager, before uh, letting Doublelift go. They completely worked out a new contract. They made sure that Doublelift is going to be getting taken care of in the new team. He's going to have the future that he uh, – he's going to have – like. A longer career you know like it they have the a similar mentality <clears throat> that Red, right. reggie and uh Bearson, similar to double lift so you know him going over there is probably going to be for the better but that being said ugh, there's a <laughs> uh reddit reddit never ceases to amaze because right now if you go to the reddit page um you know reddit slash r slash league of legends Right. There are currently seven hundred and sixty three thousand eighty two new TSM fans and oh. twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty nine remaining COG fans. <laughs> so this COG this uh double if uh swap, I guess, <laughs> um <laughs> is garnered TSM so many fans, which is oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for Turtle, he did obviously get, um, benched. He's, he's now in the sub role looking for, for a position in another team. <clears throat> uh, he's probably, I, I, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that he's also trying out for COG. So, hey, look at that. Swoop and swap. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Um. Talk about swaps. Not yet. <laughs> Yet. Yet. What else yet. do you want to say? What else do you want to say about? Okay, League has a lot league. of news right now. Okay, League legit has a lot of news. Uh, they actually, it's do. like it's it's it's, it's, it's a little ridiculous how much news they have. Uh, I mean, the double lift to TSM trade was or not trade, but uh, swap was by far the <laughs> the biggest one. But was, you know, yeah. like uh, there's the whole Reginald deleted a tweet about how TSM might not go to um, IM San Jose, I think. Uh, so the fact that he posted it and then deleted it means, Hey, you know what? Maybe they will have a complete team. So people are speculating as to who the remaining players are going to be right now. Haunter might be the top laner for that's going to replace, um, Dyrus, who was previously a top laner for gravity. Uh, peekaboo or Adrian might be the support for double lift, which honestly, I'd rather Adrian. He's, I don't know. (laughs) Um, and for jungler, I still haven't figured it out, but I mean, there, there's a ton of news, a t- freeze forgiven. Like there's, there's news all over the place. Yeah. Um, and also the new, the new season, how it's going to look with all the changes. Oh, uh, dude, I don't even want to talk about the PBE. PBE that's, that's going to be a video for, for next week, probably. Yeah, maybe. Riff Scuttler, Graves' it's, double pump shotgun action and stuff. That's too much. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of changes. Th- them completely the butchering my Quinn. Oh, yeah, your Quinn's gone. I mean, it wasn't that great to begin Done. with, but that was the Quinn that the Quinn players like to play. Right. right. She's like the, the niche, um, was like cult. She has like a cult following that Quinn players play Quinn and like just are good at Quinn and enjoy playing Quinn even if they're getting shit on half the time. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's not a, big majority it's a handful of players obviously like like three of us maybe five <laughs> but uh yeah it's one of those things like you touch my champion i'm gonna be really really upset and i'm gonna let you know so hopefully yeah. enough of us let them know that we like the that uh split push type assassin quinn over whatever they're working on right now but again that's gonna be a video for later sure. <sighs> and you want to talk about swaps yeah man swaps hey man i didn't okay, spend so. my money on that game so I did. I did. I spent my money on Batman Arkham Knight because I love Batman and I love the Arkham series. And I bought it and I pre-ordered it and I played it and it was always stuck at like 60 FPS or 30. I was going to say, but it's stuck at 60. That's not bad. 
It was like 30 something. I think that was the lockdown. Honestly, I had a pretty good experience with it. It didn't freeze, it didn't give me stutters, it didn't lag. Only like the Batmobile, and it was only here and there, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but I had a good time enjoying it. However, Warner Brothers have officially issued refunds to everybody. No matter how much you played it, no matter if you bought DLCs, it doesn't matter. You could refund the entire thing for all your money back. And just because they couldn't fix it. They just couldn't fix the port. The port was broken. They couldn't do anything about it. Jeez. I mean, so, honestly, like, my, my question is how much are they losing from this? Dude, they're going to... Uh, I'm. Yeah, they probably have... Well, you have to imagine they're not going to be making any money because everybody's going to want to refund the game. Yeah, of course. So all their PC is pretty much gone. All the revenue is gone. Um... Maybe they're making lots of money from the console game sales, which everybody says it's amazing. Yeah. So if you ha if you haven't played Batman Arkham Knight, just borrow your friend's PS4s and play it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah, just go ahead. That's and about the only it. way. Yeah. Unfortunately, the PC master race in, in this case lost, and it wasn't the PC's fault. It's just the stupid developers that fucked up the, everything. Well, much. they just it was just lazy port overall. Like it, yeah, was, it was legitimately a lazy, a lazy port. They were like, you know what? Our our main market is going to be consoles. And we're going to sell it to consoles. Right. They outsourced it for the PC community, and they noticed. <laughs> and the PC community noticed, and it came back bit them right with in the a ass. vengeance. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, right in the freaking ass. So if you bought it, and you played it, and you liked it, or even if you didn't like it, just get your money back. It's free! It's free. <laughs> and, and not only... Hold on, do you, have to, your... do you have to return the game, too? Or, what do you mean? No, everything was downloaded. PC downloaded. So, so you get to keep the game regardless. No, I think the key gets revoked. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think the key gets revoked when you return it. So, what if you play it offline? So you won't be able to if you keep it, but you always have to connect back to Steam, Steam in order to play it. So you won't be able to play it anymore. But I mean, if you had most people, like ninety-five percent of people, had a shitty experience. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> return it, even if it's not because you're gonna get your money back. Do it because you're sending a message to Warner Brothers. It's not about the like, money. It's about correct, sending the message. Like, God damn it, correct. Joker! <laughs> it's like it's like no, you guys screwed up. Give me my money back. Do a better job next time. Oh yeah, for sure. And and yeah, yeah it's just dirty. <laughs> it's bad, like, I, like right. I said, I didn't buy it, but had I bought it, I would be. Flipping shit. Like, if I had that 30 frames per second after building a new machine, I'd be hella mad. I think everybody would. Everybody would. But, but if you, you're, you're, by, the way, by the way, if you're gonna build a new machine, Black, Black November from New York. Oh, yeah. Black November from New York. Dude, holy crap, those cells, man. Oh, yeah. Like, I, know. I, I, was actually, I was actually looking at a power supply because I think my PSU might not be doing well. But I'm not sure. Um, Can I have it? <laughs> oh, Why would you want to depict the PSU? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was actually looking at the graphics card, seeing that uh, a lot of the uh, like mid tier NVIDIA's are, you know, they're actually reasonably priced. And I was like, holy crap, I like that. Yeah, I want yeah. that. You know, like it, maybe I should just buy it, hold on to it. You know, wait for this whole DirectX 12. EMA link to work and then start having fun multi GPUing Ooh, or multi -pla yeah, yeah. multi platform GPU whatever. Yeah, but you might have to wait like a year and a half or something like crazy like that. I could go put it on that shitty gateway that I have in the kitchen. <laughs> Just to swap them out. <laughs> no, well, I mean my shitty gateway. Right. My, yeah, my LTC enough. is like, dude, it's. Do I, what is that? What card does that have right now? It has like a GTX four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it's some really It's like old a legit one. like a 420 blaze. It's hot as hell and it sucks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a bad thing. Like, I wouldn't mind, you know, just like dumping a little bit like you know, a couple hundred bucks. Hey, you know, there you go. Live live along for another few years. It's basically a media center at this point. No, that's true. And Yeah, it is a media center. That's what you're using it for. It really is. Yeah. But if you if you guys are looking for any cheap Prices. Um, New York has some pretty good deals right now. I mean, a 754 Sierra. And mind you, mind you, this is PSU. not an ad. We're just letting you guys know that they have Correct. sales and it's totally freaking worth. Right. It's it's not an ad at all. And it's actually go check it out. I mean, you're gonna see things like the Corsair uh, PSU. It's a platinum rated 750 watt. It's going, it's only going for 130. So it's pretty cheap. Dude, ro dude, I I'm looking at the front page right now. It's got a Roswell. 1000 watt modular power supply for 130 as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, there you go. And it's uh, like, these are brands. Is that mine? No. No, <laughs> these are good brands, too. It's like, dude, just do it. Yeah. There's another, a Corsair RM series. RM850 gold rated for 100 bucks. 100 bucks for a 850 watch. If you... If, you're looking for new parts. This is probably it's it's definitely stuff. right now. I mean, you might have a better shot like of of lower prices like later on in the month, uh, you know, getting towards the end of November. But, but uh, let's, be let, let's be honest. If you legit just want to go and look at the stuff, see the prices, like you could even use stuff to price match at Best Buy too, right? Like, uh, yeah, if it's sold by Newegg and shipped by Newegg, then you could price match, on, match yeah. it. Price will match price match as well. It. Yeah. So it's like yes. it's 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 worth at least giving some time and looking at it. Uh, sure, maybe you'll get cheaper uh, overall prices in the in the near future, but your selection is going to be limited, and there's going to be they're going to get sold out like super quick. So, right, right. That's one thing. Another thing. I mean, how much more can you really drop the price? Maybe another ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, some people are willing. To, hey, look, I'm just saying, I might actually wait till then. <laughs> I do need another. All right, fair I, enough. I, fair I, enough. I, I I could definitely use another eight gigs of RAM. Just saying. <laughs> You, you definitely could, but uh, yeah, I mean, if, if we can wait out a little bit, just make sure you're always checking it daily. Yeah, that's the key. Check daily, like, okay, this is this is what I'm willing to pay for it. That's the price. Boom, go for it. Yeah, there's there uh, there's new promotions every single day, so go ahead right. and give it a, give it a look see. Should be, should be pretty fun. All the links of all the articles will be in the description down below, so you guys can take a look at it, read more in depth to it. Um, and shoot, are we done? I don't know. We might be. I mean. I think what, we're what done. Are you, uh, on time. I uh, mean, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, after m- minor edits, we should be good. <laughs> nah, no minor edits. I think we did a good job right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? So, uh, yeah. well, uh, you doing anything special anytime soon? Anything different? Uh, I'm gonna go have dinner. Oh, well, I already had dinner. <laughs> no, I mean, like, just any new games you're trying out? No, nothing. Any new games? Well, it depends. If I get my money back from Batman, um. On my wallet, I may have to go check out some more RAM. Um, if I get the money back as um, Steam credit, I might get GTA Five. Mm. Mm. Fiddle around with GTA Five, see how that goes. How much did you? How much are you gonna get back? Fifty bucks, right? I think like sixty or. What, something. Why don't you yeah. see if you could order uh, one of them uh, snazzy Steam controllers? That's not a bad idea. I mean. Eh. Mm. That's a good point. So, hey. Hey, look at that. Tuned. There you go. We might have a review on that later on, too. Yeah, we may get a scene control down here. All right. All right. Don't forget to uh, nice. don't forget to follow us, to subscribe, like, favorite, share, all that social media jazz. Comment. Uh, you can see us on, send us a shout out on Twitter or Instagram. Um, also, everything will be, nobody, yeah. nobody commented first. Our first video was not very popular, so nobody gets a shout out for now. We, we, expect, we expect these videos to be... Watch maybe a year later by people who are going through our stuff. They're gonna be like, "Hey, look, they got archived videos." Oh shit! That doesn't have a first comment. <laughs> correct, and and I mean, at the end of the day, it's just two guys having fun talking about tech, talking about what they love. Yeah, and that's what that's what we are. All right, guys. All right, guys. Peace Thanks out. Thanks for watching. See ya.